Hi guys, it's Pam. I'm going to start a video series about ingredients. Skincare ingredients primarily. What's in them? What do they mean? These big long chemical words and we don't understand truly what's in our skincare. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be introducing the good, the bad, the ugly, the beautiful. And I'm going to only do one ingredient each video because it can get a little overwhelming. So I'm going to start out my first ingredient. It's a controversial topic and it's about parabens. And I know some of you out there maybe know what parabens are and many of you out there don't, nor do you care. I, however, do care. And since I'm an esthetician teaching everybody about what I know and helping people with my YouTube channel, I want to educate about things that are important to me. And if you don't care to hear, then you can move on and turn the video off. But if you do care, it's controversial because parabens have good to them, but they also have possibly very bad connotations to them. So what I mean by that, first of all, if you're like me, you need to have a visual. So parabens, I made a sheet here, and this is how you spell parabens. So if you start looking at all of your skincare ingredients, at, they're listed from top to bottom. Parabens, if they're in that product, are usually at the bottom of the ingredient list. So they're, they're very small amounts of parabens. And they will show up in your ingredient list as probably a methyl paraben, ethyl, propyl, butyl, and benzyl paraben are the types of parabens that are out there. Now what they are, they're chemical preservatives that back in the 50s were um, basically created to put in our skincare and all our, our personal care products for a very important reason and that was to keep out microbials and bacteria and molds and give it a shelf life so it can be in the store and sit on the shelf without getting full of this really nasty bad bacteria stuff. That's important because bacteria um, that we want to really keep out of our products and keep them clean and, and safe for human use. The reason parabens are controversial is because back in about 2004 there was a study done in Britain, I believe, that looked at some breast cancerous tumors and found parabens in those tumors. So then there was this big to do that, oh my gosh, parabens cause breast cancer. So that's where the controversy comes in because the FDA has actually stated that parabens are safe. There's just such a small amount used in our products that it doesn't really cause any harmful damage at all. The World Health Organization says the same thing. Now if you're out there shopping around for products, you may see stuff that says paraben free. Those companies care about keeping parabens out topic. Parabens also mimic estrogen-like chemical structure. So our bodies think it's interacting with estrogen. Now I will tell you, that's why I care about ingredients, because I want to know what am I feeding my body. It's not just about the food that we put into our mouths, it's also what we put on our skin. So basically, when it comes to parabens, there are two kinds. There's the kind that we eat that are naturally produced in our, in our foods, and I'm not talking about what we eat and those parabens. I'm only talking about synthetically produced chemical preservatives that are used in our personal care products from our cosmetics to our skincare lotions, moisturizers, shampoos, lipstick, mascaras, lotions, you name it. Now here's the thing. Our skin is our largest organ that we have. Okay, so everything that we put on our skin whether it's our arms, legs, face, even our nails, our type of skin, absorbs into our bloodstream. That's why medications work. We have scopolamine patches for dizziness, and that works. That's a medication we put on our skin, and it's seeping through our skin to get into our bloodstreams, and works. 
That's why there are nicotine patches, there's birth control patches, there's all kinds of patches that we put on our skins so it seeps through and feeds that medicine. Well, the same thing with skincare ingredients, okay? So everything that we put on gets absorbed. So don't you want to know what exactly it is you're putting on your skin? And over a long period of time, it's believed that that can create a hormonal imbalance, thereby throwing our body's hormones off, possibly leading to cancer. The argument with this study is that people are saying that patients without cancer weren't tested to see if there's parabens in their bodies. The fact is, parabens do enter our bodies, but they don't leave. And so my concern is that over a long period of time, years after years, days after days, months after months of constantly putting on products of skincare with parabens in them, what is that truly doing to the inside of our bodies? So that's why you will find some products that will say, and I'm not going to throw anyone under the bus, I'm not here to bad talk about products, but this product, for example, actually says paraben free. If you want to look closer, I don't know if you can see it, where this product right here, plain as day, says methyl paraben. Okay? So here's the thing. If you're gonna have a skincare product or any kind of product that has a shelf life, it has to have some way to preserve itself so it does not go bad. So if you're not using parabens, you're using something else. There are other things that can help preserve ingredients. There are um, skincare products and other things. And I, those, that's what I'm gonna be talking about. What are those other things? What's the worst of it? Bad for you? What's okay for you? What's good for you? There's products out there that are called organic. If a product is truly organic to the true sense of the word, there should be no chemical preservatives in there at all. And it technically should be going bad in a few days. You should have to refrigerate it. That's truly a natural organic product. But I love organic products that say they're certified organic and still have a shelf life, then they're the true organics that I have. I'm not going to get into all that. I'm just talking about parabens. My concern is the buildup in our bodies over time of all these products put on our bodies day after day, month after month, year after year. And if our bodies can't get rid of them, then they build up. And that, to me, is a concern. Even though there's such small little amounts used, the FDA gives it its stamp of approval. And, and there may be some truth to that too. So this is all hypothetical in my opinion here, but it is a controversial topic. Me personally, I want to start developing skincare line that is free of these chemical preservatives that are harmful to us because the population doesn't truly know about this kind of stuff nor do they really care. So these videos are only going to be if you care about them. And every time I do a video, I'm not going to be talking about a bad ingredient. I'll switch. So every week or when I do a video, the next one's going to be on a great ingredient that I really love. So that's why I'm starting this series is for education. So when I start developing my skincare products, you can rest assured that they will be paraben free. After all, wasn't there one point in time where people thought that asbestos was safe to put in the walls of our homes and that mercury was okay to fill our teeth with, with the cavities? And today we all know how toxic those substances are. So I don't want to be around waiting for that day where the FDA or someone else says, you know what? Changed our minds. Parabens are not safe. Do not put them in there. I'm not waiting around for that day. It may come, it may not, but I don't want to take the risk. So with that said, I hope you all have a good night and we'll talk to you next time. If you want more information, read the links I have down below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye.